I think this is the first time I ever shot a photo of you. It's too dark. But this behind Haight Street, Paul Wally. It was like right when I first started taking skate photos. It was probably like 95. Yeah. And they remember this photo was in that skateboarder. They should have ran it bigger. I love that picture. I didn't even know they ran that. We were looking at it. It's like day. small. And then this was like one summer in New York. These were one summer in New York. Remember these? Remember that? Remember Dan was filming yeah. for the rodeo? Yeah. 2001, I moved to Los Angeles when Dimitri quit Big Brother basically to work for Jackass. And this, so they called me because me and Toby Nellen were on retainer. And I think I was doing more work at the time or whatever, so they asked me to work for Take Dimitri's Place. And when I was working at, at Hustler, was where Big Brother was, I met a porno director, this guy named Jim Powers. But he told me I could come do his fucking shoot. So I was like, sure, who would want to go to a porno shoot? I had a point camera in my pocket, so I went with a friend and took some photos, and it was really weird and crazy and kind of like, fuck, like giggling and shit, you know? Like, you walk in, and you're just fucking, and there's like 10 people around, and you're just kind of like, fuck, this is crazy. So I went, took some photos, got a couple good ones, and then like just kind of did my thing. I was really busy with skateboarding, traveling and stuff. And then I think like 2003, out of the blue, I emailed the guy and I asked him if I could start coming around his sets and taking photos. Because the first time I went, I remember thinking to myself like, wow, I could guy to come back and like and like take pictures of this shit, Mark. It's so interesting. I I, I took skate photos from 1995 to 2005. In 2005, I um. I mean, I just kind of was losing interest, and I didn't, and like, the last thing I want to do is take a shitty photo of someone. I know that dudes aren't going to do tricks over and shit, and I didn't want to like, kind of go out like that. <laughs> so I just decided to fucking, like, step away from it, and I sold like most of my gear just to like, so I couldn't fall back on it, and I don't regret it. But from 2004 to 2007, I think I started shooting just like for myself, like behind the scenes documentary photos on porn sets with this guy. And, through that, I think I knew a lot of people in the industry. I started shooting for the girls, and Keith asked me to do, we asked about doing collaboration with like clothing or whatever for the stores. In passing, we were just like, hey, let's do it. And then finally, one day we sat down and really talked about, like, all right, let's just do this. Put together a little budget and thought about what, what we could do. And my girlfriend performs and directs in the adult industry, so we basically like use a lot of her friends, which are people that we hang out with and stuff. and. But cool girls that are like interesting looking, and I think you know, like that would that I wanted to photograph too. So ended up photographing like ten girls, used six or seven of them. Through time, it turned into like um, instead of doing the book, we just decided to do like T-shirts and boards because that's what they sell, the store you guys sell. So it made more sense in a lot of ways. So we did a T-shirt line and boards and postcards too. When it comes out, everyone will see. I'm pretty excited about it. It's been like years in the making, which I think is best to not to rush into things like I know I shot the photos like close to two years ago at this point. Which was probably better for editing too because to be honest, a couple of the pictures that two of the black and white photos that are on t shirts, the photo of Baldonna and the photo of um, Kimberly Kane and Charlotte Silkley were were pictures that I didn't even notice the first like year I was looking through these photos. And then I went back to look through them again and I was like, wow these are amazing so letting things kind of marinate with photography, especially like letting things kind of like, just give them time. I don't know, and you see more in them, the more you look at things, I think in anything, but uh, so yeah, and then now it's, it's done, it's being, it's done.